our musical chemistry doesn't come from music. I think it's uh, more of a psychic thing. It's really divine. It's really like God's work. We have a different connection than most people. We really shared a love of music. We would pass music back and forth and just enlighten each other. First time I heard Earth, Wind & Fire, Terry played it for me. Jimmy started to introduce me to more stuff like Chicago, you know, Journey. When we tried to write together, it was interesting because Terry was, you know, Mr. Funk, and I was Mr. Pretty Chords, Pretty, pretty Melodies, Pretty Harmonies. It would always clash. We spent a ton of time together, and we kind of figured out kind of where that balance was. The Control album was really special because it was a turning point in our lives and certainly a turning point in, in Janet's life. We knew that we could do something with her that probably no one else could do because we were fans of her. She had done two albums before where she had no creative input into the records. Uh, she just basically sang the songs. One thing that we've always done, and I, we still do it to this day, is that we try to take music and tailor it to the individual. I remember the first like four or five days we didn't even go in the studio and she said, when are we going to start working? And I said, we already are working. She was like a young woman trying to find her way in life. We learned things about her and we incorporated those things into the music. And then we showed her the lyrics to Control and she said, oh wait, this is what we've been talking about. And we said, yeah. And she said, okay, so whatever we talk about, that's what we're going to write about. Yes. Now you have an engaged artist. What comes from the heart reaches the heart. And I think we connected all those dots. No matter what we brought, she was like, okay, I'll give it a try. There's something very cool about that creatively because it takes the boundaries off of what you're going to do. You just create. With us being like a sole producer on the album, it gave a continuity to the album that it didn't ordinarily have for her. She just gets songs no one ever, ever spent any time with her and ever tailored the, the suit for. It turned out to be very influential on, on the records that came um, after it. The Grammy night when we won Producer of the Year was a fantastic night. We tore the house down that night. Everything was so fast. It was, it was a whirlwind. First of all, my mom was my date. That was kind of like, I think in her eyes, like my graduation. She had really backed me up and, and really had supported me. I don't think we ever got into music to win Grammys, but the fact that your peers would like your work enough to say, hey, you deserve this Grammy, was an incredible feeling. That was really the music industry saying, you guys have arrived, you're the best. I feel like we really bring out the best in each other. It's built on mutual respect, and we still are different in a lot of ways, but the ways that matter, we're exactly the same. We're able to go from A to Z and not try to form any right or wrong in it. We just try to find the best in it. I don't imagine doing it without Terry. So it all works out, you know. It, it's, it's, it's hard to explain, like I said, but it just, it all seems to work.